well, don't. no. I'm not. <laughs> don't sing it <laughs> when they're here. I know. It's, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Crazy. Stop, Alison. Well, now, as they re-release a collection of their greatest hits, we're joined by two band members, sisters Caroline and Andrea Core. Good morning Hi. to both of you. Good morning. You? Good morning. A new album. I've just looked at the front of this album and I've got to say, you don't age. Look at you. Oh, Beautiful. Well, <laughs> I think <laughs> But I've, I've got to ask, girls, does it ever get boring working with siblings? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> time. I mean, the opening, that, that opening question. It is, it is. Um, <laughs> let's see. Well, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it gets boring. It's interesting. <laughs> it gets... It gets feisty. It gets strange. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, we've managed, we managed to do it for a number of years. So it doesn't get boring, You've done no. so well. <laughs> uh, look, look, it, the music is fantastic. It's also timeless. I'm right back there when I hear it. You know, it's fantastic. Um, a musical family, kids growing up playing music together. Tell us what it was like. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, our... You know, we had... Our parents were really musical, so they really encouraged us uh, to follow, follow that path. Um, so we just grew up, you know, playing instruments and, and early on we started to write music. So uh, it was just, it just felt natural for us to do that. I mean, it's strange though that one of us didn't think of having another career, but we didn't. Yeah. It wasn't know? allowed. It wasn't allowed. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, it yeah. was, it, that's, we just grew up like that. Mm. What a gift. What a gift for parents to give their kids. The gift of music. Yeah, yeah. that's so that's true. Yeah. I think so. so. I mean, we called, our, our dad all taught us the piano. And, you know, we used to call them the terrifying piano lessons. Well, I did, because they were a nightmare for me. Uh, and Caroline was amazing. She'd be like twinkled. Well, like, I wasn't that Twinkling great, along, honestly. and I'd go after her going, oh, no. Um, but uh, it is such a, I mean, uh, it is such a, it's good to persevere, I think, as a parent. I mean, because, you know, we write our songs on the piano. It does, it, you know, it's, it's led to our whole lives. So I think it's... Um, yeah, it's, it's worth it, yeah. And I didn't actually know that Fleetwood Max was actually the start of your career. How, they helped you, didn't they? Well, just for that, for, for dreams, for sure. I mean, that was, I mean, the, the first time I ever, I remember, I was just talking about this the other day, I remember being in a, the first time in the UK yeah. that I heard, I'd heard properly our music being played was on um, Radio 1 and it was, it was Dreams and it was our version that we had done of Dreams and that, would, that just happened by accident that we did that version and it became, um, then it, it, it just started to get played and it became something bigger than we had even anticipated at the time. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, there was a few singles, there was a few songs before that were sort of slightly known but nothing like the way that, that Dreams it just went... <laughs> Didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did, it did, it did, yeah. <laughs> well, do you know what I loved about it as an Irish person was seeing traditional Irish instruments like the fiddle and the fiadog and stuff. Yeah. But in that kind of arena, seeing that on top of the pops, that was a really special thing. Yeah. And it must have been for you guys as well, was it? It was. I mean, well, you see, we are, I mean, t uh, top of the pops was like a ritual in our house watching that yeah. uh, growing up. Uh, and uh, yeah, to to be on there with our music, you know, all of that, and with the, with the with the Celtic um, instrumentation. I mean, it's it's you know, we've just come back from having toured in um, Australia and New Zealand, and we're in the how Philippines. Was it? And stuff. How was it was it? amazing, but like, it's still it's so strange how that uh, that music seems to just. It's, it just it becomes universal. It's yeah. like I mean it you know it's it's uh, it it gets everybody going. So uh, yeah, it feels good. It's because the foundations of the music are so solid. I think I think because you're all really really good musicians, and that's why it's timeless. That's why it kind of goes all around the world, and everyone just buys into it, don't oh, you well, think? Thanks. Well, no, I don't really do. <laughs> I'm just very proud of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's lovely. What's Aww. it like being on tour again, actually? I mean, it it's was, been a while, is it? Yeah, the last time you toured? It's been a while. The last time was 2016, I think. So it's, it's a while. But, you know, it was, it was amazing this time. I mean, to go that far away and people have waited a long time for us to come back, particularly the Philippines and, and Indonesia. And uh, we got a lot of love and um, uh, it, just, it just felt great, you know, at this point to go back with nothing to prove, just playing to That's people who so love your nice, music. Isn't it? It's so nice. Do, yeah. you, do you enjoy it? better the second round, the second time around, do you think? Definitely. I mean, I, I, I don't think we ever thought that we would, we would go back to those territories, you know, 22, 23 years yeah. later, and think that we would still be doing big shows at that point. 
Um, and of course, there's no pressure on you anymore, is yeah, there? There's no, no pressure. There's whatsoever. no pressure. You're just yeah. more, you're a lot more relaxed. They've made all their money, Al. They're completely minted. Yeah. They're just doing it for the crack now. <laughs> <laughs> it is for the crack. Yeah. It's just for the crack. Uh, I love just all these great songs. All these songs are brilliant memories as well. You know, which one? I know you must have one that you just love playing the most. Which one is it? Um, Imagine if I say something that's not on the record. Which is quite just likely to happen. Um, uh, Runaway is always that's very my special. Favorite. Everywhere. Well, you sing it very well. Nah, you don't <laughs> run away, run away. That's yes. how I've changed it a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> don't. <laughs> Don't That's support this me. situation. Right we here. like it. We like this. <laughs> Do you know what? You know, I remember you was actually mentioning the same vein as the Beatles. How incredible is that? Do you ever think about that? Look how humble you are. <laughs> <laughs> I look, look, I look, think about it all the time. It's, look, it's nice <laughs> to be mentioned in those terms, but you know, as a fan, you don't really believe those things yourself. You know. Can I tell you a little secret? Yeah. As a 15-year-old boy in Ireland, I took up the bassoon to try and go out with your sister, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> is Sharon aware of this at all? Yeah. She is now. <laughs> yeah. The student teacher said, you're not good enough, and it never happened. And it didn't oh. work. No. Was she even aware? Uh, she is now. <laughs> <laughs> she is now. She is now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was young and in love. I was young and in love. It might yeah. be too late. Thank you, guys, Thanks for so joining Thank you. us. Thank you. The new album, the album is out the best of the course. Thank, Thank you. you. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic album as well. You can read all the lyrics and everything. Old school stuff. Love it. <laughs> uh, right. Come